In this video, we're going to talk about gas valves. So far, we've talked about ignition. We've talked about other things that connect to the gas valves in terms of safety. But let's give a little bit of conversation on the different types of gas valves that are available. So the most simplest of the gas valves is the solenoid gas valve. It, the valve has an electrical magnetic coil which opens the valve when energized. The valve contains a seat and a valve disc. The disc lifts off the seat when the coil is energized. The solenoid valve is directional. There's a definite inlet and spring pressure holds the valve in the closed position. Do not put these in backwards. An example of a solenoid cutaway diagram is this. You have an electric coil at the top. There's a spring. There's a plunger and you have a gas inlet. When that solenoid is energized, it allows the plunge, it helps lift the plunger up off of the seat and allows gas to come through to the gas outlet. The closing factor is the spring, the opening factor is the gas pressure and the and the electric coil. The solenoid valve can be operated with what's called a heat motor. A heat motor is constructed of bimetal wrapped with a heat wire. When voltage is applied to the heat wire, the bimetal warps and changes the position of the valve. This is an example of a heat motor. In the diagram A, the valve is closed, okay, and it has the gas inlet blocked from the ga gas outlet. Once the, um, once the heat motor is energized, it heats the valve up and the metal expands and it pushes down on the spring and it allows the valve's disc to come off the seat and allows gas to flow through to the gas outlet. That's in diagram B. This is an example of the basic diaphragm, the solenoid valve in the open position. The electric current applied to the coil pulls the plunger into the coil, opening the valve and allowing gas to flow. The spring makes the valve more quiet and helps start the plunger down when, when de-energized and it holds it down. The next type of gas valve is the diaphragm gas valve. It's used, when it's used when the large solenoid type would be an additional load. It's used when a quieter type valve is needed. The diaphragm valve is pilot operated. A small pilot solenoid valve opens and controls the gas flow through the valve. A diaphragm separates the inlet from the outlet of the valve and the de-energized pilot coil keeps a bleed valve closed. This is a cutaway diagram of the gas valve. Okay, so what happens is the diaphragm is right here in the center. It's the black piece of rubber that goes across through it. Your main gas valve sits on with that diaphragm, okay? And the gas inlet allows gas pressure to help push that diaphragm down and keep that valve closed, okay? When we talk about a pilot and a bleeder valve, it's right here. Okay, so the coil energizes and creates a magnetic field that pulls that bleeder, that valve open. And we'll show you an open diaphragm, uh, open diagram here in a few. The inlet gas pressure is allowed to build pressure on the top of the diaphragm and this keeps the valve closed. When the pilot coil energizes, the position of the bleed valve changes. The bleed port is then opened and the gas flow to the top of the diaphragm is stopped. Okay, so again, this is now in the open position. The coil's energized. It's pulled that lever up against the coil. Okay, it allows the bleed, it has shut off the flow to the top of the diaphragm from the gas inlet, and it has allowed that to bleed off. So the gas pressure itself pushes the main valve open and allows gas to go to the gas outlet. That's what we know as a pilot valve. The gas is bled to the pilot flame. The gas pressure now builds under the diaphragm and opens the main valve. When the call for heat stops, the pilot valve returns to its normal position, bleed port is closed, and the gas pressure starts building on top of the diaphragm and the valve closes. The pilot valve can be operated also with a heat motor. Different applications have different types of valve based on the speed of operation and pressures. 
multi-stage units and direct ignition may use a different valve than standing pilot valves. One type is instantaneous valves. Instantaneous valves open immediately when energized. There is no delay. They are used in direct hot surface ignition. Slow opening valves open after a lapse of 1 to 30 seconds after being energized. They're used in larger spark ignition systems. Step opening opens at a reduced pressure and then steps up to a full manifold pressure. They're used in gas fireplaces and some boilers, sometimes seen in unit heaters. Combination valves combines the other gas burner assemblies such as pilot valves and pilot safeties. These are used in mostly older standing pilot systems and water heaters. They're also available in a redundant style. A redundant gas valve is a valve with two main gas valves in one body so that both valves open and close on every call for heat to assure shutdown in the event of a pilot or ignition failure. This is code in most areas. The components of an electric gas valve are pilot shutoff valve, safety reset or lighting button, main gas line shutoff, pilot gas adjustment, gas pressure regulator adjustment, and pilot gas connection. Thermocouple connection, sometimes with built-in electromagnetic pilot safety controls, electrical terminals to the control circuit, inlet and outlet pressure taps.